I'm going to show you how you can add a gauge to your presentation uh, using this latest infographic uh, here called uh, Gauge. So you'll notice it right here uh, next to the tree map. And what I've done is I've already uh, created one over here. And uh, let's add two other variations because there's three variations of the gauge. So uh, once you click on infographics on the engage tab, uh, you can click insert and you'll see here that there are three variations. So I've already added this first one. I'm going to add the second one and uh, let's go ahead and do the same and add the third one right away. So we'll add this one, which is more horizontal. Okay, great. So we'll move that over here. So these are the three different variations of the gauge and uh, I'll show you how easy it is to uh, modify these with your own data and uh, also to get it looking the way you want it to look. So like all of our infographics, when you click on this gauge, you'll notice these two gears appear. When you click on that, it opens up this dialog window. Um, so there are a couple different things you can do. Um, to edit the data, you just click on edit data and you'll notice that um, it's a very simple um, format to enter and modify the data. There's only four fields. There's the minimum value, um, the actual value, the maximum value, and then a goal value. So for example, if I were to change this from 50 million to uh, 60 million, that would be the new maximum value. The actual value might be, um, let's change this to uh, 42.7 million. So it rounds out to 43 here. Um, and then the goal, let's make the goal uh, 50 million. Okay, so once you've done that, you can simply close that spreadsheet and you'll see that the numbers here will recalculate with the new values that we've um, put in. So there it goes. Now the max is now 60 million and uh, our goal is 50 million. So this, this section here in blue, this is the uh, target. So anything in this blue section is, is good. And then the actual value here is the 43 million. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, change a couple things. The first thing you can do is you can change the color of the gauge. So instead of this gray, uh, I can make it all blue. I can make um, this section uh, green. Um, so let's go ahead and leave that green for now. And what I wanna show you is um, this override with gauge color here. Um, if you unclick this, it'll simply go um, gray and you can change the color of that font if you like. Uh, but this override with gauge color, you'll notice that when you select this, it matches the color of the gauge that you've selected over here. Um, the other thing that um, it does is if we actually put in a value that's in the goal, let's go ahead and do that. Let's click edit data and let's put something um, that's above the goal. So let's put uh, 55 million dollars so that's above the goal so let's close this and take a look here you see how the color automatically updates to this override with gauge color that's what this uh, checkbox uh, does over here so it turns blue once uh, you're in the goal letting you know that you've achieved that that target all right so a couple of things that you can do here um, you can toggle on and off this show min max values so if that's something that's not important for you, you can just uh, turn that off. Um, the other option is you can show the ticks. So there's um, these ticks here, 12 million, 24, and so on. It basically divides the gauge into five different sections. Um, and you can adjust the font to make sure everything uh, looks good. Um, but in this case, let's turn that off and maybe turn the show min max values back on. Um, so over here, the value here, you can toggle that on and off as well. So if you don't need to show the actual value, you can turn that off. Um, but in this case, let's turn that on. And um, instead of customizing what that color looks like, I'll just click on this override with gauge color and I'll let the system automatically um, change the color of that value based on whether or not we're in um, that target zone or not. Um, so a couple of things that you could do too around the goal is you can turn off this um, enable. And so what this does is that section over here that lets you know that you are uh, past that goal, you can turn that on or off and you can also customize uh, that color. So instead of making it blue, uh, if you wanted to make that orange, uh, then it would just highlight in that color. 
Um, the other thing that you could do as well is you can show that goal. So right now I'm showing the actual. The actual is 55 million, but the goal I think we said was 50 million. So we can show the goal right here below, and uh, you can also adjust the uh, size of the font. So if we want to make this a 14 point and change the font color, we, we could do that. Um, so now you have a complete gauge that shows the min values, the max values, the goal area, the actual goal, and um, the actual value as well. And of course, uh, with all of our infographics, you can also click on the accessibility button and then add uh, alt text um, that can be used by the screen readers uh, for people with visual impairments. Uh, so when they get to this uh, gauge, they can perfectly understand um, what this symbolizes. So I might as well show you these other um, variations and how you can uh, modify these as well. Uh, so you'll notice here the actual value is a little bit big, the, the, the font size. So let's go ahead and uh, change this. Uh, let's make this a little bit smaller. Maybe we'll make this um, 28 uh, instead of 32. Okay, so already this looks much better. And um, let's change the values. Same idea as the other ones. You just click Edit Data. And let's make this value 25 million. So let's go ahead and close this. Uh, and so in this variation, instead of having a needle, it's a, a dumbbell. And um, same idea as the other one, though. You can change the color. So for example, um, if you were to um, show the uh, gauge color, we can maybe change this to red and you'll see that it updates the color as well. So same idea as the other one. And uh, finally, this uh, variation of the gauge, if you click on those two gears, uh, instead of showing the min max values, let's go ahead and show um, the ticks and uh, maybe make this font a little bit bigger. And I might even make this font um, darker as well. Um, so that's the third variation, but same idea. Uh, and the same options to um, update and, and customize. So that's the gauge.